up here is where my friend who lived in the dike for 13 years used to live so every day and every morning and every night he has to come back up here winter summer every season and you can see it's slippy today imagine what it were like living for 13 years in here waking up to snow listening to the rain hammering down on your tent and he was a lovely guy and I used to ask him if he'd seen anything unusual and he told me he'd seen the big black cat on a number of occasions when he'd got up in the morning and left his tent I think he'd actually seen more than the cat but very uh, very private person and ordinarily I'd have never revealed where his camp was but it doesn't matter now because he doesn't live here some cruel individual burnt his tent out last year I put him a new tent up at Christmas come on Bob because his old one was so dilapidated and the Salvation Army kindly supplied a tent and myself and Bob Brown went and put it up and he were happy, he weren't bothering nobody yet I mean I'm not so sure I'd want to walk through this every night to get to where I lived but that's exactly what he did so imagine waking up on a summer's morning four, five, six o'clock coming out of your tent and seeing a large black panther type cat whatever you want to say these things are he definitely saw it if this man was anything he was a man of his word didn't take anything off the state didn't want anything just a nice gentle soul who lived in this woodland imagine that 13 years people the things that you might have seen and experienced I've since found out more I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about the other bits but I can definitely talk about the cat that was seen and his tent was here and I saw it in that direction twice and if you lived here for 13 years and you only saw it twice and you're here basically 24 hours a day and you only manage to see it twice it's a good indication to the people who say these things aren't about just how elusive they are eventually when we put his new tent up we put it up there there's still a chair there and it was here sheltered by these briars and there's a wood pigeon that's probably got some eggs there I would think so yeah all good another black cat story this time from Dane's Dyke and uh, as you can see it's turned out quite warm me and Bob are probably gonna head back soon but thank you and if you were uh, finding the stories interesting please like and subscribe let's just keep the channel growing the more we can do that the more information we can put out okay thank you